going to configure the Storage Made Easy tools for Linux. And the goal of configuring these tools is I'm currently in the Storage Made Easy web interface. I have a number of uh, storages mapped, and I want to be able to mount these local to my uh, Linux machine. And so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to download the tools. Now, if you're using our SaaS service, you're going to go to the main menu, we're going to go to Cloud Apps, and this is available if you're the organization admin. Um, or depending on um, the package you're paying for, the, uh, the tools will be available to you or available for purchase. If you're using our SaaS um, service, that's how you do it, but if you're using our IAS service or you have an uh, appliance installed, you're going to want to ask your uh, Storage Made Easy administrator uh, for these tools. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to download our Linux Pro Tools, and I have the option of saving it or opening it with the Archive Manager in CentOS. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open it with the Archive Manager. Uh, if you save it, you would just do the same thing. But when I do open it with the Archive Manager, the first thing I want to do is extract these tools. I don't want to try to run them within the uh, Linux Archive Manager. So I'm going to extract them, and I'm going to go ahead and extract them to, uh, to my Downloads folder. And once I've extracted them, I'm going to go look at those files. And at this point, we can go ahead and close uh, a number of these tabs. And so I have this folder here, Linux Tools. And again, the Linux tools are not um, exclusive to Red Hat and CentOS. We also have tools for SUSE, for um, Debian bases, such as um, Ubuntu. But for now, today, I want to uh, go ahead and install this for CentOS. Uh, this would be the same RPM package if you're uh, doing Red Hat. And so I can find in this CentOS folder the RPM. And when I double-click that, what's going to happen is we're going to um, open the application installer for CentOS. And what I simply want to do is just click this button right here, Install. Now, the installation is going to require either your password if you're a sudo user or the, the root user's password. And the reason for this is we need to go out and download a couple of other packages, um, such as Fuse for Linux. And so we need the permission not only to do our install, but to pull in some of those packages as well. Now, installation does take probably about three minutes. Um, it depends on how quickly your system is able to go out and pull the uh, packages that are acquired from the, the repos for CentOS or Red Hat. And so I sped up the video so you didn't have to watch uh, the install. It took probably about five minutes in my environment, but this is running on a virtual machine. And you'll know that the install is complete when uh, it changes from install to remove. So at this point, we can close the installation window. And if we look under Applications now, under Accessories, we're going to have three new applications. Uh, we have the Storage Made Easy Client, the Explorer, and the Sync Center. Now, at this point, we've successfully installed the system. But let's authenticate um, and get that drive mapped. So I'm going to pick the Storage Made Easy Client. And when I do, um, it's going to pop up the Linux Cloud Tools. The first thing I need to do is um, put in the FQDN of the server that I'm using. Now, in this example, I'm using our SaaS service, which is storagemadeeasy.com. But again, if you're using a uh, hosted IAAS solution or you have your own appliance, you're going to want to put in the FQDN or IP address of your um, Storage Made Easy system. So I'm going to go ahead and click Sign In. And when I click Sign In, a second window is going to pop up. And it's going to ask me if I need any proxy settings to um, uh, connect to storagemadeeasy.com. I do not. Uh, the other option here is uploading files directly to the provider when possible. What this means is that um, with certain types of storage, like object storage from Amazon S3, uh, the actual Linux client is able to bypass Storage Made Easy and send the data path uh, directly to the end storage. And so you'll want to check with your admin as to whether or not that's applicable. Um, because I don't need either of those options, I'm simply going to click Sign In. The next thing that opens is going to be a um, Firefox or Chrome, whatever your default browser window. And this is where I'm going to authenticate. And I'm going to sign in with just my normal um, credentials. If I had two-factor authentication, it would prompt me here for the uh, two-factor. And um, ultimately, what I get is a thank you that I'm authenticated, and then I can now close this window. 
So now that I've authenticated, the next thing I have to do is I have to pick where I'm going to mount the storage. And I always recommend that you mount it to your um, home directory into a private folder within there. And so I'm going to go ahead and click Folder. I've got my normal um, CentOS or Red Hat folders as a user. Uh, my user is SME user in the home directory. And I'm going to create a new folder. Now you can call this folder whatever you like. Um, I'm going to happen to call it SME Drive and press Enter or hit um, click anywhere on the screen to, to get that built. So you can see that I'm now in the folder SME User, SME Drive, and I'm going to select Open here. And I can validate that right here that I'm using my home directory and um, the, the mount point of SME Drive. And so at this point, we're ready to hit Mount, and the next thing we should receive is a uh, success message. And there's my success message. You can also see that um, a, a new drive has popped up um, in my, my desktop that's just a, a CentOS function. And so when I hit OK, I now have two options. My options are to hide in tray. Uh, what that does is it's going to keep our tools, um, this kind of web or window interface running, um, or exit. It doesn't matter which one I select, the service is going to keep running. My mount point will persist. So first I'll show you if I hit hide in tray, um, it's disappeared, but if I come down to the, the tray option, I can see my storage um, made easy. And if I was to right-click that, I can do Show Window and reopen that window. Um, if I don't want this at all and I want to access it through applications, I can press Exit. You can now see that that's gone, um, but obviously my drive still persists. So I can access my drive one of two ways. I can either double-click this icon or I can go into the, the File Explorer and under File Explorer, I can also see this SME drive. I can see that um, it's a mount point. And when I double click it, I'm getting the same view that I had in our web interface. I can now open files. I can cut and paste. I can move things around um, in, a, in a more native um, format to what maybe users are accustomed to when using Linux. This now concludes the installation of Storage Made Easy Linux tools. Thank you.